Hi everybody, this is Anthony, your technology trainer here with another 10 minute learning tool, uh, tip. Today what we're going to go over is templates in zip forms. What we're going to do is actually create a template. Um, for those of you who don't know what a template is, very simply, a template is a tool in zip forms that allows you to compile a list of forms needed for your generic transactions. And what's really nice about a template is that you can put some generic information like your name, your company, and some basic terms that you always try to negotiate for for a type of client. And what's nice about a template is that you can apply it to multiple transactions. That way you're saving yourself a lot of time and effort having to grab the uh, forms for every transaction and fill out everything from scratch. So with that said, let's go over how to create a template in zip forms. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna share my screen real quick. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into zip forms. And when we're in zip forms, we're going to look at our transaction list here. Very simply, what we're going to do is we're going to move our mouse over towards the top on the dark blue bar. We're going to click on where it says templates. From here, this will display a list of all of our available templates that we've ever created. If we've never created a template before, this will all be blank. So to create a template in our template list, very simply, move your mouse to where it says over the, here towards the left, new. Like creating a new transaction, we are going to choose what type of template we're going to make. Are we creating a new listing template for a seller? Are we creating a new offer template for a buyer? Are we creating a new lease template for a tenant? Or are we creating a new lease listing for a landlord? Say as an example, I represent a lot of buyers in my transactional life. I'm going to come over here to where it says new purchase offer template. I'm going to click on it. Now when it comes to naming the template, we're going to name it not client or transaction specific or address specific like we would a transaction. What we're now going to do is we're going to name the template client property generic. So in this case, maybe I'm going to name my template purchase. Or maybe you want to name your template buyer. Or maybe you want to call this a standard sale. Standard sale buyer whatever you want or whatever you need here we're going to choose the category residential down below where it says auto apply we're going to leave it at the choice do not automatically apply this template what we want to do is be in charge of over what templates get applied to what transactions because the last thing i want is for this template to be applied to a listing transaction so Leave it at do not automatically apply. From here, we're going to hit save. When I hit save, I'm now going to be taken to the area where I can now come over towards the top right and click on all forms and start grabbing my generic forms. Now, if you're not sure exactly what forms you need for a transaction, this is where you're going to need to talk to your broker. Maybe in some cases you work in an office that gives you a list of forms required for every transaction. Get that list from your broker. Now what you can do with that list is go through this li these list of forms and click on or find the forms that you need to add it to your template. Once you've added your forms to your template, now simply come over and click on the form to edit your generic terms. Well, what will be some of your generic terms? Well, maybe some of our generic terms in this case will be because this is my buyer's template, I'm gonna put in my buying brokerage information. As an example. That way I don't have to keep retyping my information in each and every time. Now maybe I jump over to a form and start typing in my generic information on this form. So some of my generic information is, well, geez, I might have two buyers that usually buy a home. In some cases, my clients about 95% of the time always want number of days of closing, and maybe I always shoot for 45 days. 
and maybe a lot of times my clients aren't all cash offers, but they're loans. So I'll mark my loan information. And maybe I'll even come down and say, who pays for what? Buyer and sellers. As an example, something generic that I'm going to type in. Okay. Once we save this information, Now maybe I go and create a new t another template. This time I'm going to create a template for a seller. So now I'm going to come back over to new, come over to new listing. Now I'm going to name this one seller for residential. And again, do not automatically apply. Hit save. And again, with my brokers list, I'm going to come back over to all forms and find the forms that I need to get this transaction listed. And again, go into the forms and type in my generic information. What I would recommend as an agent is that you're probably gonna create at least three to five different templates depending on your business. You're at least gonna create a template for a buyer create a template for a seller, create a template for your seller's disclosures. Maybe you even create a template for a tenant and create a template for a landlord. So right there, that's at least five templates. Now, if you're a specialist like an REO specialist or short sale or probate, maybe you create extra templates for your probate buyers and your probate sellers or your REO sellers or your REO buyers or your short sale or, and and both sides, whatever you need. That way you have your list of templates. Now at any time when we go to make a new transaction in zip forms, say for a buyer, I can now name my buyer's transaction. Now down below I can select a template that I need, select that template, and now when I hit save, all those forms, all those generic terms are now applied to this transaction. So now what I need to do is go into the documents and type in my specifics. What are my specifics? My specifics will be client information. Whoops. So my buyer information. Right? And then of course, again, maybe some of the, uh, some things will actually change as I'm typing in my specifics. Besides client information, we've got property address information, pricing, things like that on the home that they're making an offer on. But you'll notice here quickly that I didn't have to grab the same forms and type in everything from scratch. As a matter of fact, we're gonna have some things already pre-typed in like the address, but maybe this client doesn't wanna close in 45 days, they wanna close on a specific date. So here I can readily change things on the go. So that's how quickly and easily templates can be created and applied to a transaction to make your transactional life in real estate that much easier. If you have any questions, please feel free to always give me a call. My number is 949-586-6800, or you can feel free to email me at Tony, T-O-N-Y, at O-C-A-R dot O-R-G. Have a great day.